So Remodel Your Online Coaching, I started that in January 2022 of this year. Um, so it's an co online coaching program that I've created for people that want to be a better version of themselves. Um, it's online coaching, you get your support, accountability, structure, training program, learning about nutrition, helping you ultimately become the better version of you. So my four main coaching pillars inside Remodel You are mindset, body, lifestyle and nutrition. Um, mindset. We're working on the mindset to help you ultimately thrive across the board. Get rid of negative thoughts, get rid of, get rid of everything that you don't want to be thinking of. Then we've got body, where we help you ultimately achieve the body that you want to be happy with. So you're going to be happy with what you see in the mirror, you're going to be happy going out with friends, you're going to be happy in your relationship. And then we've got nutrition, which is helping you understand the nutrition, understand your calories, carbs, proteins and fats and then we've got lifestyle where we help you ultimately live a lifestyle with confidence, happiness and purpose. So when it comes to prioritising yourself, you need to think about why you want to change, you need to think about what you need to do to get the goals and results that you want. So when it comes to prioritising you, you need to think about your steps, you need to think about your water, you need to think about your sleep, you need to think about your training, you need to think about your nutrition. So if it comes to a weekend and friends are asking you to go out or go for dinner, drinks, whatever it is, if you genuinely don't want to go out or if you genuinely don't want to do something, prioritise you because what you're trying to achieve and then stick to your word. So when it comes to negativity, I'm a fan believer that we do not need this inside our lives. Whether that's negative self-talk or whether it's coming from an outside source, from friends, family, relationship, anything like that. You need to think why you want to achieve your goals, you need to think why you want to change as a person and you need to think why you want to be a better version of yourself. If you pluck up the courage to get things in place and start working on you, but you are thinking about whether you're going to achieve it, if you're going to fail, if you think it's not going to be the right fit for you. Put the negative think thinking to the side and think about what you can achieve. And if it's coming from an outside source, from friends, family, relationship, you really need to turn around and speak to these people and tell them why you want to change. So when it comes to pushing your boundaries and stepping outside the comfort zone, that's a big, big thing for me inside Remodel You because if you've been doing something yourself uh, for maybe the last week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, and you're getting nowhere, you're still inside your comfort zone. You're doing things that you're comfortable with. So when I'm speaking about pushing the boundaries, what I'm meaning is stepping right outside that comfort zone. If you're doing 12K steps and you've done 12K steps for the last three months, up it to 13,000. Push it by 13,000 get past the boundaries, push yourself to the limits um, and then when it comes to stepping outside the comfort zone, maybe it's rainy, maybe it's wet, it doesn't matter, you need to get comfortable being uncomfortable in order to get the results that you want to achieve. So again, when it comes to pushing the boundaries and getting outside your comfort zone, in regards to training this time, if you've been training two days a week and you feel that you're hitting a wall, it's time to up your, up your training. So up it to three sessions a week, four sessions a week, five sessions a week, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're doing two and you want to start doing three, do three for a week because changes will happen. That's you pushing outside that comfort zone. You've currently got yourself in. You're in a routine of doing two sessions a week religiously. Let's step outside that comfort zone you're in and up it to two. Then when you're, when you're hitting a wall again, up it to three. When you're hitting a wall again, up it to four, five and so on. All right? So, you don't want to just stay complacent in what you're doing. You need to push your body, you need to build resilience, and you need to keep moving forward. So, when it comes to exercises that help you lose weight, there's no such thing as an exercise that will help you lose weight. What will help you lose weight is, in my opinion, starting resistance training. So, in about the weight section, adding in some cardio, and adding in your own style of training, but also being in a calorie deficit, and also, your expenditure so the calories that you're taking in and that calorie deficit you need to be expending more so you need to be burning more calories off than you're consuming and you start to lose weight so struggling to stay motivated here's three things you can do 
Surround yourself with people who's positive and like-minded and on the same journey as you. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to build muscle, whatever your goals are and you feel like you're struggling with motivation, surround yourself with people who's on the same journey as you. So get in the gym. Surround yourself with people who's wanting to do these goals, who's wanting to achieve better for themselves. Do not stick with people who's going to bring you down, who's going to say that you can't achieve this um, and who's going to be speaking negatively towards your goals. Number two, think of where you want to be over the course of the next 12 weeks, say, the next 90 days. So have a vision in place, have a plan in place of where you want to be over the next 12 weeks. Don't just go day by day and hope for the best. Understand and have a figure of where you want to be in the next 12 weeks. Number three, note down all the progress you've made so far. So think about where you came from when you started and note down all that. If you're struggling with motivation, you maybe think you're not getting anywhere, or you maybe think that you're not achieving what you want to achieve, go back to the very start, compare photos, look at where you came from and where you started at the very, very start, and look at where you've come to now, and that will bring your motivation back up. So, what is your why? This is what you really, really need to understand um, when you're trying to achieve any type of results. You need to know why you want to achieve the result you're setting out. You need to know why you want to change. You need to know why you want to beat your anxiety. You need to know why you want to beat the depression. You need to know why you want to be a better version of yourself. You need to know why you want to be a better partner, husband, sister, brother, anything. Whatever you're trying to achieve, you need to know why you're wanting to change. So your why is everything. If you wake up in the morning and you feel unmotivated, remind yourself of your why. If you feel that you, you don't want to go to the gym, remind yourself of your why. If you feel that you're struggling, remind yourself of your why. Your why is everything, and what you can do with this is get sticky pads, write down every single option of your why, and every single, every single note of your why, put it on the sticky pads, stick it in the toilet, living room, kitchen, on the fridge, anywhere that's going to remind you daily of your why, and that'll help you stay motivated every single day. So. Are you surrounded by people who don't understand why you want to change? If this is the case, you need to step up and explain to them the reasons that you want to better yourself. So, whether that be family member, your mum and dad, your friends, work colleagues, if you're getting negative talk towards what you're trying to achieve, you need to explain to them and it'll make your life so much better. So, your why, like we spoke about previously, explain that to them. Tell them why you want to change, Tell them why you want to be a better version of yourself and tell them why you want to do this. So, jumping on and off slimming world all your life isn't going to get you sustainable results. Aye, it will get you results at first, but what happens when you come off of that? It's the exact same as a, a meal plan. You don't want to rely on meal plans all your life. In my opinion, you need to understand your nutrition. It's going to be so much better for you. You're going to understand what you're fueling your body with and you're going to work out the macronutrients and understand them at every bit of fuel you put in your body. Jumping on and off slimming world all the time isn't going to get you where you need to be because there's no sustainability, there's no structure and there's no support. Whereas if you start to understand the calories you're taking in, the protein you're taking in, the carbs and the fats, you'll get in so much better. So, what can you expect if you sign up and work with me and remodel your online coaching? First of all, you're going to be working with a coach that's result driven, who cares about their clients and holds the clients accountable and to a higher standard than they hold themselves. I've worked with plenty of people through the years, I've transformed hundreds of lives and you can be the next one. So, you'll be working with me, you'll be working closer with me on a one-to-one -one basis and we will get you where you need to be.